Hello, and welcome back to what used to be my dining room. I'm Angie Mason, and I'm so glad you're here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Love and light to you and yours. We're working with a 12 by 16 stretched canvas. It's taped and push pinned. Got our handy dandy chopsticks there. And we're gonna be working with uh, Goldens. Uh, that's turquoise thalo, folk art, color flash, and aqua flash. We've got some Amsterdam Oxide Black and Amsterdam Titanium White. And this is uh, Liquitex Basics Light Olive Green with Modern Masters Green Apple Divine. That's Golden's Prussian Blue, another divine. This is my own creation of Artist Loft's Metallic Cobalt Blue and Deco Art Sterling Silver. That's Artist Loft's Copper. Artist Loft's Thalo Blue in this one, delicious. And I infuse some love into this canvas and we're gonna use some of the white as a base uh, puddle coat. Not sure <laughs> what you would call this one. It's kind of a free for all. And, you know, last but certainly not least, Deco Art Americana. Uh, 24 karat gold. I made a three ounce uh, dirty cup. And right now I am in my zone and feeling the energy of the canvas and the flow. And we begin flopping. I would like to thank B.R. Turner Art um, for the inspiration of the flop cup technique. Um, I have fallen in love with it, so thank you for that. weight of the paint back to center and I still feel like it needs a little something before I really get into it so I grab some more colors and I just start flinging the paint wherever I feel it needs to be <laughs> kind of going rogue but I see that it uh, adds some interest some action to the composition. And then I use a little bit of the darker Prussian blue to give it a little more depth. And then the white, uh, I get that out and use that as a flow extender, which will help the composition move around nicely on the canvas without rolling over itself. And also, it's 
good to use uh, when I go rogue to clean up <laughs> and make it look a little cleaner in the negative space. And it's tilting time. Shout out to Massey Boys. And I grab my handy dandy chopsticks and I really appreciate all of your questions and inquiries about why do you use the chopsticks. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's actually several reasons. Um, first of all, I save tons of money on gloves. Um, and I also have arthritis, and it makes the tilting process a lot um, easier and less painful for me. And um, I also like using the chopsticks because I can. it really helps me to feel where the weight of the paint is on whatever size canvas I'm working on. Um, and that really helps to feel at one with the canvas and the paint know where that weight of the paint is on the canvas. Um, so it really helps in, in that way too. There is a method to my madness. Now I am going to turn the canvas a quarter turn. Um, I like to do that several times actually in the process just so that I feel like I see the entire piece and what it can be. And um, another tool that I use is the skewer. Um, this helps me make fine lines and wispies and I also use it um, to create if I see a natural um, Fibonacci spiral in an area of the piece I will use the skewer to um, make that a little more prominent I love the Fibonacci spiral and just makes it really special when you can bring that into a piece, especially if it's a piece that has a, a nature feel. And after I do many of these wispies, I pick up the palette knife and do some schmears. Sometimes I just do it with the paint that's already on the canvas. And sometimes I will um, uh, dip the flat palette knife into uh, either the oxide black or the Prussian blue and, uh, and do some schmears. Thank you to Gail Burston for the inspiration um, for that technique because that really helps give the piece movement and character and and that is where I find the fantastical creatures. Again, thank you, Gil Burston Art, Life and Splatters, for that inspiration. And I already see a few creatures already that I'm trying to embellish a little. So just sit back, relax, 
and enjoy the rest of this creation. Thanks for being here. And I am so happy with how this piece turned out. It is gorgeous. I just, <laughs> I just love it. Um, I live in the beautiful state of Maryland and kind of near the Chesapeake Bay. And this piece really has that kind of feel to me. So I named it Seabird. And I just want to say thank you all for coming along on my art journey with me. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up to show me some love. Please share any of my videos and subscribe to all so you can be notified whenever I upload a new one. I would love that. So love and light to you and yours. And remember, keep pouring till you're soaring.